the key is to close. So what separates the closers from everyone else? Well, that's what we're talking about in this series on closing affiliate sales. This is part two. Welcome to the Affiliate Guy Daily, your daily source for affiliate marketing news, tips, and strategies to take your online business to the next level. Let's dive right in. Hey, welcome back to episode 161. And I'm going to apologize in advance, but I am batch recording these uh, this series on closing affiliate sales. And I'm also doing it on the tail end of the flu. So what that means for me is I'm pressing pause quite often. <laughs> I've got to do the stuff you do when you're recovering from the flu. It means my voice is is totally messed up. And uh, I apologize for how I'm going to sound over the next few episodes, but such is the life of a content creator. I mean, like seriously, first world problem, right? Like I have the flu and I'm recording a lot of podcast episodes that, you know, thousands of people are going to listen to like, okay, yeah, that's really a terrible problem. And right? I'm not complaining, just letting you know, that's why I sound like this, but we just finished up Michael Hyatt's launch. That was fun, by the way, having the flu at the end of that. I spent uh, much of the last four days of that alternating between, you know, while running the launch, while the craziness of cart closed, alternating between freezing cold and sweating profusely and coughing and blowing my nose and just generally feeling terrible. But I'm on the recovery. I'm probably about 60, maybe upwards of 70% now. I've got a decent amount of my energy back and I'm definitely not like freezing cold and I'm not sweating. And it's like, I feel like a million bucks right now because I've been so bad, but it's, it's, uh, it's good to be back. So talking today about closing affiliate sales, and we're going to zero in today on key number two, which is to create killer bonuses. Now, if you missed part one, go back and, and listen to that. I talked about mailing every day. You got to you gotta move them closer to buying with each email. And I shared in that, I shared in that episode how, you know, all of this came about because we noticed this trend of there being, you know, in the top 10, narrowing in on the top 10, you know, the, the biggest affiliates, there always seemed to be like five or four or five or six that closed three, four, five times higher than the other four, five, or six in the top 10. It was always this dramatic difference. And the second key, now these keys are not in order. In fact, I'll share with you what the most important is as we get into this. But the second key was creating killer bonuses. And here's what we noticed when I studied this. Of the 11 highest converting affiliates, each of the 11 highest converting affiliates mentioned their bonuses. Now they all had bonuses. They mentioned their bonuses in at least 75% of their open cart emails. Meaning while the cart is open, their sales emails, they mentioned their bonuses in 75% of those emails. So keep that in mind. Six of them mentioned them in every email. Three of them mentioned them in all but one. So they might have sent 10 emails, six out of 11 mentioned them in all 10 emails. Almost all of them mentioned them in every one but one. All 11 mentioned them in every cart close day email. So there's like, you, you look at this and you say, okay, the, the, of, of, in 2000, you know, 16 and 17, the 11 highest converting affiliates that we worked with and we worked with, you know, I mean, we did t- tens of millions of dollars in total affiliate sales, right? And the 11 highest converting ones mention their bonuses in every cart closed day email. That is non-negotiable. That's non-negotiable. Like you can't not, you can't look at a statistic like that and go, I'm not going to do that. If you want to close affiliate sales, you're listening to this right now. So you're going to do that, right? Like make a commitment that you're going to do that. That's a must do. Whether or not you mention them in your day three, you know, thing, okay, that, that's potentially optional because not Everyone is doing that. When you see a statistic like that, if I told you that the 11 richest Americans all did this one thing, would you do it? I would hope so. You know, they all eat ham for breakfast. Well, then by gosh, like there's going to be, they should be selling out of ham tomorrow. It'd be weird. I don't think that's it. (laughs) I don't think that all the 11 richest Americans all eat ham for breakfast. I'm going to go out on a limb on that one. 
Now, five had a dedicated email. Five of those 11 had a dedicated email about their bonuses. The entire email was basically about the bonuses. Four recorded a video explaining their bonuses in detail. Eight created a special page for their bonuses. And four followed a, the advice I'll share in another episode about using live chat on their bonus page. Now, we have so much information at mattmcwilliams.com about bonuses. My recommendation, we'll include as many links as we can in the show notes, but go to mattmcwilliams.com and just use the search feature, put affiliate bonuses, and you're going to see a bunch of stuff coming up. But here's the short version on how to put together a killer bonus package, a package that helps you close sales. Number one, use what you have. Like don't create a new product unless it really makes sense. I know people who have created new products for their bonuses. It made sense to do so. They didn't have something that was a perfect fit or this was so good, you know, or maybe it wasn't, you know, the, uh, the, the amount of time they had to put into this particular product wasn't an astronomical amount of time. So it made sense. So that's number one, use what you have. Number two, create nothing if possible. Now, what I mean by that is a great way to offer an amazing bonus package is to go through the course or to use the product, whatever it might be, go through it with them. People love that. So you think about it. When you, when you do this, it essentially amounts to group coaching with you. So imagine you're promoting, um, you know, like Ray Edwards copywriting course, copywriting academy or, you know, Zig Ziglar's and Kevin Harrington's Secrets of Closing the Sale. Those are two of our clients, two of their launches coming up. You can check out all of our launches at mattmcwilliams.com forward slash what's up. It's got all of our recommended programs coming up. And you're promoting those and, you know, you're going to go through Copywriting Academy with them and learn with them. So you've got like an eight-week, you know, weekly call with them or something. That's group coaching with you. And remember, whether you believe this or not, whether you know this currently or not, your audience sees you as an expert. They see you on a certain pedestal and to be able to get access to you is like the greatest bonus of all. So this, it's essentially group coaching with you and you don't have to create anything on the front end. The thing I love about this bonus is I can pull this one out of my hat. Like I could announce this last minute and I don't have to create anything or give away access to like our flagship course. I don't have to do that. Number three, fit the offer. Only offer bonuses that complement the main offer. So if you're selling a fitness ball, you know, uh, I'm lo looking at one right now. That's what's making me think of that. <laughs> you know, if you're selling a fitness ball, it doesn't make any sense to like, okay, one of my bonuses is, you know, how to garden. I mean, that, maybe I could see some weird correlation there, but it doesn't make any sense. You know, if you're selling, you know, uh, Michael Hyatt's five days to your best year ever goal setting course doesn't make sense to offer a bonus that's not about goal setting or productivity or living a better life. You know, here's a bonus on how to make your own t-shirts. Like what the heck is that? That doesn't make any sense. So make sure it fits the offer. Number four, aim for equal value or higher. Now I have a post on my website that we've updated. And in the original post, I said, you know, try to get your bonus at 50% or hundred percent of the value of the product. So if you're selling a $2,000 course, a thousand dollar bonus is good. I actually like the more I study this, the more that I think equal value is the minimum target like the minimum target. So if you have a course that, it, you know, it's a thousand dollars, like a thousand dollar bonus is the minimum target. This is what I'm seeing from studying the data. You know, now you could say, oh, well, I'm going to have a bonus, you know, that's $500. You can do that. But the data says when you look at the top closers versus the not so top closers, that's one of the differences. If you take that those that top group of closers, that top half of the top ten, and then segment it even more and say, okay, who closed the best? It was the it was the ones with the bonuses that were even higher, not the ridiculous high, but you're aiming for equal value or a little bit higher. I say one hundred to two hundred percent is a really healthy balance. And then fifth, you gotta sell them like crazy. Bonuses work. 
bonuses work. So don't go through all the effort to create the bonus if you do. Don't go through all the effort to get people in the sales funnel. Don't go through all the effort to talk, you know, get them in and talk about how great the course is and not close them because you're not really pitching your bonuses. So you got to really play up your bonuses. Mention them in almost every email like we talked about. So those are the five keys to creating killer bonuses. The biggest one ultimately is that selling them like crazy. Sell your bonuses as much as the course. In fact, one of the best ways to position it is if you've got a $4,000 bonus package, let's just say maybe it's um, your course, a course and a live event. And then you're promoting a $2,000 product. You say, hey, here's how to get this for free. You're actually selling your bonuses in the course. It's not an afterthought. It's just how to get it for free. That works really well. You go watch how Ray Edwards does this and you'll see like the epitome of the best way to do this. So that is key number two, create killer bonuses. Come back. We're going to talk about key number three and so many more in the upcoming episodes. I'll see you then. Thanks so much for listening. Be sure to join us daily for more tips, updates, and inspiration. You can also join us and watch our deep dives into affiliate marketing strategies at theaffiliateguide.tv. And check all of our free resources at mattmcwilliams.com. See you next episode.